What's going on guys? It's your boy Slayer Extreme TV. We're back with another ASA art dev kit video. Um, it's going to be real short and sweet. I'm going to show you how I set up my dev kit to make it a lot easier for me to look at my files and test the mod out and such and little things like that. I hope you enjoy. Now let's get right into it. Now as of recently, I've been asked, well, how do I get my content browser to stick over here? Because I want to be able to have it pop in and out like this, or how do I get it? How do I get my content browser to sit over here and make it a lot easier for me to where I can consistently see my files, but I still have a decent size visibility of my play editor. So when I'm testing it, I, I you know, I'm not worried about clicking in out of something. Well, first off, I reset my, my uh, arc dev kit to where it looks like the default way whenever you first launch the dev kit this is what you would always see content browser will be down here this is how you would end up setting your files and seeing your files and then you know you have your play editor right here now to make it real easy for yourself if you want your content browser to be docked on the side not like this but to where it's like Basically, it's this down this bottom bar would basically be over here on the left hand side And I'm guessing it would go on the right. I'm not entirely sure first thing you want to do is just go to Windows Go to content browser and you'll see four different content browsers. Basically. This is pop. These are pop-out windows So like this one this one actually at number one actually put posted itself right at the bottom Meaning it's docked just like these two are docked on the side. It's docked at the bottom We can actually drag this out and make it a pop-out window now, if we were to open number two, number three, and number four, they're all just going to be windows themselves. As you can see, oh, as you can see here, they're all windows. Number one's the only one that will literally automatically, whenever you click it, it'll be automatically docked at the bottom. Now, depending on your preference on how you want it to work, as you can see, you're able to drag the tab. So we'll close all these out. I think we'll start out. We'll just do number one and just use it to our advantage. Now, if you want this one, if you want your content browser to be docked in any other position, say you want it at the top, you want it at the bottom, you want it over here on the right hand side, the left hand side, those you just drag the tab and it automatically says the the P the sorry the dev kit is actually is showing you where it can go. Now you can even put it over here where you can dock your content browser in here. You can move all these up and be like, you know what? This is how I want my content browser. I want it to be over here. I have a decent size viewing of the editor. I can test, I can do all this stuff and I have my files right here. Or you can move everything over here to the right or sorry, to the left because my directions are bad. You can move it all over here to the left and do the same exact thing. Okay, this is how I'm gonna have mine set up um, from now on because I always want to have my files open so I can have an easier time clicking in and out. Now, if you want, let me put this back over here and we'll put this, oh, why isn't that snapping? There it goes. And let's get this set up. Okay, hello, press the button. Okay, press, click, there you go. Now say you want to be able to have your, oh Lord, so you want to be able to have your content browser, right? To where it's docked on the side to where you can have it just the same way as it is at the bottom to where it shows itself and then unshows itself or you can pin it to the side to where it's consistently open until you unpin it. Well, it's very, very simple. So once you op come to Windows again, you'll click which content browser you wanna use because it doesn't matter which one you use. You just come up here to the tab, you right click and you have it right here. How this is supposed to work and why that button's not there, I don't know. But normally, this is basically how you would do it dock to sidebar. That's the setting you would look for, and that's all you would have to do. So basically, you want it's not going to work if you could see that while it's in this mode, while it's in this little a secondary window, it's not going to work. And therefore, all you need to do, okay, is go ahead and dock it. Right here, it doesn't matter where it's docked, but as long as it's docked into a position like these are over here, you can come over here and right click and you can dock to sidebar. Now, if you're like me and you're like, well, how do I undock it just so I know in the future? You see, 
normally you'd be able to hit F10 from what I've seen in other videos, it would undock it. Doesn't work. Not for at least the dev kit. Now, say you're like me and you're like, ah, I don't like how it looks. I want to be able to still see, you know, I want to go back to how, to like what I showed you in the beginning. I want to have it to where it's like these over here or whatever the case may be. And you're like, how do I undo this? Well, simple thing to do. You come back to Windows all the way down here to where it says load layout at the very bottom default editor layout all you do is click it and boom it resets anything you may have changed in the editor's layout it rechanges it it doesn't mess with any of your files it doesn't mess with your mod it doesn't mess with anything except resetting the layout to where you can then reset it up the way you want it there's no actual way to undock it from my understanding i've seen videos to where you can like hit f10 but at the same time it's like I think that's more or less towards UE5 and the Arc Dev Kit, even though it is UE5. So there's some aspects that are more that are different to some degree. I do hope that helps. Um, like, comment, and subscribe if you have any more questions. I will be doing more videos that are simple like this and um, to give you some information you may not have known, you may have known, or you may know somebody who has no idea what I'm talking about and just needed this, needed this little help. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you for all the love and support so far, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.